and hey guys, Telly from Game Next Stage, bringing you part two of episode five of Batman Telltale. We just took down the penguin, and uh, do we have all our tech back? How go the repairs? We're working on getting all our Going tech back. Going offline kept Penguin from finding the Batcave, but it also scrambled our system. The Bat computer barely runs, and worse, most of my tech isn't working. It's going to take time to get everything up and running again. Well, that sucks. If it gets running again. If it gets running again. It's going again. to make tracking down Lady Arkham a hell of a lot harder. You've proven that you don't need armor or gadgets to help this city. In the end, Bruce Wayne was the one to stop Penguin. That is correct. Bruce, these last few weeks, I worry about the toll they've taken on you. This whole game was Facing off against just in Harvey like a week or two. Oswald in a matter of days. D not just the physical toll. Those were men you once trusted. And after finding out what you did about your father, people must seem a great disappointment to you. Always letting you down, even those whom you admire. I have you, Alfred. Well, not all people. You've never disappointed me, Alfred. But I have. Everything that happened, I could have stopped it if I'd done something all those years ago. This, this is my fault. All of it. I told you I wanted to leave your father's employ. But if only I had the guts to do something instead. Your mother, she wanted that. Wanted to put an end to his crimes. If I'd helped her, if I'd stopped Thomas, none of these horrors would have occurred. Lady Arkham, Oswald, even Harvey. Whose fault it is doesn't matter, Alfred. What does is that we stop them. You're right, sir. The children of Arkham are still out there, and Lady Arkham. With both Penguin and Mayor Dent off the board, she's the only remaining piece. We need and to figure out the her Joker. next move. The only thing we do know is that she moved on from her plan to poison the city. With Penguin gone and my I think CEO this game is going to have a chapter two. Finally log into I think this practice. game is going to have a we'll season two, exactly like The Walking Dead did. Was doing during his time and the Joker is going to play a bigger part. I cross reference that with all the data season two. Vicky vale. If he promised him a favor, then he'll the show up and ask for that favor. Wait, determine the link between Oswald and Vicky Vale. Vicky Vale, mid 30s, reporter for the Gotham Gazette, and not in the public record, her true name, Victoria Arkham. To think she was here in the manor, she gave nothing away of her true nature then. Vicky embraced this identity to follow through on her twisted crusade. Her mask inspires fear. Not unlike Batman. Okay. I just need to find her. I think Lady Arkham is completely made up for this game. Um, the Children, Children of, Arkham. of Arkham. Their symbol dates back much farther than their terrorist activity. They formed to get justice for those wronged at Arkham Asylum. But the message fell on deaf ears. Until they found a leader Gotham couldn't ignore. Okay. The Gazette's records of the articles written by Vicky Vale. This record isn't complete. You're right. There are notable gaps between entries. But yet, it doesn't seem she ever left the Gazette's employ. So what was she doing in that time? This record wouldn't be easy to alter. Seeing what Oswald was up to could give us a fresh perspective. Alright, let's see what Oswald was doing. Uh, Your administrative access to Wayne Enterprises should have been reinstated by now, along with your title of CEO. Let's see what Oswald was doing while he's Okay, so I'm the CEO chair. again, just because 
Oswald got thrown out, that immediately makes me see you. Master Cobblepot's sense of humor hasn't changed much since you were boys. Can we just see what he was doing? Surveillance, real estate, win enterprise as he changed it to Cobblepot. Surveillance, real estate, financial reports, circuits. Penguin was tapping into surveillance systems across Gotham. Any building using Wayne Tech security could be spied on from the CEO's office. Huh. How is that any different than the back door into the Wayne network that he uncovered? That's not. Unless. Hold on. Security. What do we have here? They did more than just look at these schematics. Every building in Gotham with a Wayne Tech security system can be accessed from here you. and remotely controlled. So he had access to the whole Oswald city. Oswald was the brawn. Vicky is the brains. So let's check her file. She may have left clues about what she was using Oswald's access for. I guess records? Oswald altered several public records using the Wayne network. Victoria Vale. All mention of her birth name, Victoria Arkham, is completely gone. Wait, 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 wait. What's this? He also erased something from Vicky's research at the Gazette. I can't tell what was removed from something here, from her but Wayne Tech leaves a trace when it alters data. Okay. One the bad computer can decode. What is it Miss Vale wanted to hide? Let's find out. Or not. Okay. Oswald manipulated my records as well. It would appear your degree was in sociology. And my medical records. There are some, well, but colorful diseases. Annoying, but not hard to fix. <laughs> uh, oh, that's better. <laughs> he just changed my medical record to say I had like AIDS or well, something. No surprise here, Oswald wiped away any trace of his criminal records. His background is completely fabricated. He was enrolled at Cambridge? Ridiculous. <laughs> Calm down, Alfred. I'm sure the board realizes by now that they were fooled. Okay. Uh, financial reports. Oh. Oswald certainly wasn't very frugal with my money. You have a few yachts to return, it appears. Also explains how the children of Arkham had a seemingly endless supply of guns. guns. Oswald was using Wayne money to arm them. He was using our money to spin. That Oswald asshole. Was, was trying to buy an island. What on earth for? Looks like he was using his new legal control of Carmine Falcone's assets and likeness to brand the place. It's some kind of tourist attraction. He Not was a going to bad call idea. It Falcone Island. Hmm. We need to figure out Lady Arkham's next move. Of course. That's it. That's that's all the records I've got. Records. Recently modified. That would be all of them, right? Damn Gotham it. feed? I can't access the news feed. I need to get this working again. Can't access the news. That would that would be all of it. That that's it. That is Literally everything. What is this? The codex? Okay, I've looked everything out. Now that we know how Oswald manipulated Vicky's records, the back computer should be able to... We can there. see what no she was doing. Holes. She was looking into Arkham patients, reviewing records, checking submissions, prior histories. She was trying to figure out who was actually sick and who was committed because of Hill, Falcone, and my father. Huh. 
Okay, interesting. Vicky was digging deep. Gotham digging City Records deep. Freedom of Information requests post to conspiracy forums. All to find. It's a list. Gotham buildings that use Wayne Tech security systems. Wouldn't it's that be all of them? Targets. City Hall, Arkham Asylum, GCPD headquarters, Gotham First National. It's almost every landmark in the city. We're on to something. Okay. Vicky wants to bypass the security at a Gotham landmark. But without a man inside Wayne Enterprises, she can't unlock that door remotely. She'll have to get her hands dirty. And when she does, we'll find her. We'll Bruce, find her. Bruce, you there? Her. It's urgent. One of the bad prototypes has been stolen. By Lady Arkham? Not quite. I'm patching you the feed now. Okay, let's see it. Vicky Vale. Oh, uh, cat she stole from you? After we opened our doors to her. After all that you two... Alfred. Yeah, I know, Bruce, but... We just why would she do one this? Time. Is she that cold-hearted? That selfish? She must have her reasons. Well, I'm sure she does. The device she stole. It's a prototype. Prototype of what? It's an electronic skeleton key. With oh, it, that's you cool. Can bypass any security system made by Wayne Tech. Oh God, no! That key is far too dangerous in Miss Kyle's hands. It, it, it sure is. Especially with Lady Arkham still at large. Get the car ready, Alfred. <laughs> get the car ready. I'm going to get some answers from Selena. Um, should we? Oh, we're, just, we're gonna go as Bruce Wayne? What are we gonna do? Tell her to meet us? Or what? Oh no, we're gonna run her off the road. Damn it. Hey, Bruce. I wasn't expecting you. Thought I'd make it outside the city limits, at least. If you wanted to see me. You could have just called. <laughs> the chase is so much more fun. But I know you're not here for me. Are you? Nope. Sure not. I don't blame you for wanting it back. <laughs> I'm surprised you had a toy like this. No doubt Batman would use it for the good of Gotham. But the less noble options are so much more... exciting. Why should I give it back? So much potential. Just it's beneath you. Be Aren't you the best like thief in the world? No. A thief of your class doesn't need a device like that. It'd only be a crutch. <laughs> Says the man whose belt is an armory. Catch. That was easier than I thought. I know you're just playing into my pride, but you're right. I don't need a crutch. <laughs> oh, come on. Don't pretend you're not impressed. As long cons go, this one was a beauty. Getting into Wayne Tech's lab took a lot more than cracking a safe. I had to get close to people. Your friend Harvey. Poor guy just wanted to fall in love so bad. After <laughs> that, it didn't take very long to get my introduction to his BFF, <laughs> the great Bruce Wayne. Imagine my surprise when the rich playboy turned out to be Batman, Scourge of Gotham. I was always going to steal from Bruce Wayne. I just never expected he'd be so interesting. As a I'll mark, that is. I'll just be silent. Cat got your tongue? Luckily. The job's over now. I'm getting out of here while the getting's good. Gotham's a house on fire, and I'm not gonna burn with it. If you were smart, you'd get out of here too. This town hates you. Hates your entire family. Just leave it all behind. Do something more... meaningful with those skills of yours. You don't need the money, More but... meaningful than saving a city? But think of the fun. Gotham needs me, and I won't abandon the people of this city, no matter how they feel about me. After the way they've treated you, you've got one hell of a thick skin. 
You're gonna need it. It'll be good to put some distance between us. After all, look at what happened to Harvey. It'd only be a matter of time before I crossed one of your lines. Isn't that right? My copy of the Boy Scout Handbook is out of date. I'm bound to break some rule. Harvey was out of control. And he wanted to destroy Gotham. If you did the same. And yes, I put you behind bars in a heartbeat. Looks like we're back where we started when we first met on that rooftop. Enemies. Yeah? Well, you're not really leaving me with much of a choice. <laughs> oh, please. You aren't even trying to see things from my perspective. You're stuck in your close-minded, one-town world. <laughs> I need you to understand something. You are just a job. A frustrating, if sometimes entertaining, job. And that job's done. I'm done with you. It's not complicated. I'm not a good person. I'm certainly no hero, and I don't want to be. I'm a thief. That's all I am. I told right, you that from the start. Then. I never pretended to be anything else. Stop. That's not true. I know there's more to you than that. You're just afraid to admit it. You'd like it if that were true, wouldn't you? Yep. Why would you even think that? I've made my feelings pretty clear. You saved my life. You could have left me to die back in that warehouse, but you didn't. Someone who's only out for herself, who's just a thief, wouldn't do that. Oh yeah? Who would? A good person. That's who. A hero. So, help me kill Lady yeah. Arkham. After I found out you were Batman, I thought nothing else could surprise me. But you just keep on surprising me. Kiss her goodbye. God damn it. Okay. Something to remember me by. <laughs> I won't need any help remembering you. What? So help me kill Lydia. It's been fun. <laughs> Stay out of trouble, because if I catch you taking what's not yours again, I'll have to stop you. I look forward to our next dance. Okay. We got Lucius, the handbag. Lucius, I got the key. <laughs> uh, hold on, Alfred's on the line. Hey, Alfred, I... Bruce! Lady Arkham! She's here! Wait, what? I, I tried to keep them out, but... That is the second Alfred? person to break in my house Alfred. within the past, like, 48 hours. First Harvey, and now it's Lady Arkham. Alfred! Please don't be dead, Alfred. Oh, God damn it. <laughs> Lucius, it's Bruce. He's not here. Damn it. I'm going to how search did for they know? Just tell me how I can help. Oh, because they're, they're going after Bruce for the family thing. They're not going after that. I'm on Batman. my way. We're going to find him, Bruce. I know. Need to focus. Figure out what happened here. What happened to you, Al? Okay, crime scene. Let's analyze the crime scene. Ash everywhere. Ashes everywhere. What did they do to you, Alfred? Blood on the mantle. Bookshelf. Something big was thrown against this wall. Or someone. Broken bookshelf. Busted vase. Face was knocked over in the struggle. The fight left nothing untouched. Okay. Pool cue. This pool cue was used as a weapon. Swung so hard it broke in half. Blood splatter. Blood pattern looks like it came off a high velocity hit. High velocity hit. 
Someone got hit with the pull cue and it left blood on the table. Alfred used the pull cue as a weapon. Broke it across his attacker's head. When that didn't stop him, he used the jagged end to stab him, spraying blood across the pool table. Okay. That makes sense. Scuffed mark? A scuff mark. What could have caused this? Furniture. Furniture scattered outwards from a single point. Broken lock on the door. The lock's been completely destroyed. Alfred must have barricaded huh. himself in here. But they got in anyway. Fire poker. How the hell? <laughs> How the fuck did a um, uh, leak this with the fireplace? Alfred grabbed the fireplace poker to fend off an attacker. Yeah. But it was knocked away. Alright. And then the broken shelf. What else do I have to link it stuff to? Um, what else do I have to link stuff to? Oh, the scuff mark and the bookshelf, because they probably threw like a chair at the bookshelf. Lady Arkham must have used the concussion blast from her staff to try and stop Alfred. Okay, I, I think we got happened. it now. The children of Arkham broke in. Alfred yeah. barricaded himself inside the parlor. He had just enough time to grab a pool cue as a weapon before Lady Arkham blasted the doors open. He broke it across one of their heads, then stabbed him to get away. Another assailant tackled Alfred, knocking over the vase. Alfred almost escaped, but then Lady Arkham entered the parlor, used her staff's concussion blast, scattering all the furniture in her path throwing him against the wall by the fireplace. So Alfred grabs the nearest thing to use as a weapon to defend himself. But Lady Arkham deflected Alfred's attack, causing the poker to fly across the room and lodge into the wall. More blood on the mantle. He smashed his face into it. Wait. I that doubt picture it. doesn't belong there. Lady Arkham wanted me to find this. Pick up the picture. Alfred. Where's the picture? What's it say? The butler did it. Password reckoning. You have no idea. This has been Tyler from Gaming Stage. Hope you have enjoyed. See you next time.